Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we will be discussing about the complement systems. So what are complement systems? You see these complements are uh, actually synthesized by the uh, by the uh, liver. Okay. And uh, these are actually uh, proteins, a group of proteins which acts as receptors and are present in the serum uh, which take part in uh, immune responses and also in inflammations in inflammations okay and there are actually nine types of complements so how does this uh, complement system actually work so this complement system actually has uh, three ways I mean three pathways okay the first one is the classical pathway which is or else the direct pathway the other one is the direct and the alternative pathway and then there's the lectin pathway okay all these pathways actually have to be uh, activated or uh, it has to be triggered right so what triggers these uh, pathways actually uh, for the direct pathway it is the antigen antibody complex which triggers it and the apoptotic cells for alternate pathway the bacteria especially the gram negative bacteria and the uh, IgA um, immunoglobulin A's you know activates it and lectin in lectin pathway it is activated by the mannose or fucose of the bacterial cell surface uh, mannose is one of the most uh, characteristic features of a bacterial cell wall actually so yeah so how does this actually work what happens is that uh, these are all actually a cascade reaction I would say uh, in a direct pathway what happens is that the C1 and the C2 together join and they activate the C4 okay the C4 goes and I mean complement uh, complement 4 goes and activates the complement 3 this complement 3 actually divides into two parts as the 3a and the 3b so this 3a has a separate function but the 3b is what we'll be focusing on and that goes and activates the uh, c5 and just like c3 c5 also uh, divides or you know uh, activates into uh, a 5a and a 5b and this uh, c5b uh, then uh, you know along with the c6 c7 c8 c9 together form the mac mac or uh, membrane attack complex okay this uh, causes cell lysis so uh, th uh, this is actually the uh, pathway of the classical thing now the alternate so this alternate uh, is actually activated by the bacteria and immunoglobulin a right this uh, goes and uh, activates the C3A, I mean C this C3 actually, the C3 and this is actually promoted by the uh, nephritic factor, uh, C3 nephritic factor or the properdin. These uh, factors goes and you know stimulates or uh, benefits this action whereas the factors I or the factor H inhibit it and the 3 uh, gets activated and then 3b and then 3 uh, 3b activates the 5 and 5 turns into 5b and 5b along with 6 7 8 9 forms the mac complex and the mac causes cell lysis whereas the lectin uh, lec in lectin pathway this lectin is present in on the cell surface right this directly goes and activates the uh, complement 3 and thereby the uh, 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 the pathway uh, goes on so these uh, actually these per uh, complements are there right they have particular functions they have their own uh, particular functions right so uh, for example the uh, I'll be discussing about the important examples so the C3B causes opsonization okay uh, what it does is the C3B goes and attaches to the uh, goes and okay this uh, c3b goes and attaches to the uh, lipo polysaccharides 
E C H A R I D E S. Okay, and of the bacteria. And as soon as the C three B goes and attaches to the bacteria, what happens is that the phagocytosis, I mean phagocytotic cells, sees this and it it looks at the cell and it's like uh, this C three B is actually asking the phagocytic cells to you know come and eat me come and eat me and uh, as soon as you know these phagocytic cells see that there's a c3b attached to the lipoprotein of a or lipopolysaccharide of a uh, cell uh, in this case a bacteria it will immediately go and uh, undergo phagocytosis so it promotes phagocytosis actually the c5a actually uh, helps in the chemotaxis chemo is uh, can you know chemo chemo is a uh, chemical and taxes is movement okay so what happens is it attracts the uh, immune cells especially the neutrophils so this is actually an acute uh, uh, acute inflammation uh, type of you know action this uh, chemo taxes what it does is it contracts the endothelial cells and these uh, gaps happen and from there what happens our neutrophils come in our blood and it slows down and it rolls and uh, it slides on our endothelium and then slowly it seeps out into our interstitial space and uh, that is how chemotaxis actually occurs and then the c3a c4a c5a uh, complements these all uh, cause anaphylaxis uh, anaphylaxis if you don't know is a, actually a serious allergic reaction which can be actually deadly okay uh, so yeah that is it and uh, as you know for uh, you know uh, checking out okay uh, whether uh, the classical pathway is occurring for that that is actually a test known as the uh, ch50 test which is used to screen for activation of the classical complement pathway okay and uh, so yeah now let's go into the complement disorders complement disorders can be mainly classified into the complement protein deficiencies and the complement uh, regulatory protein deficiency so the either it's the protein which is totally deficient or the regulatory protein which is uh, actually deficient so under complement protein deficiencies there's two first one is the early complement deficiency early so this actually increases the risk uh, of severe recurrent pyogenic sinus and respiratory tract infections what happens is that the c3b used uh, is actually used in clearance of antigen antibody complexes thereby it increases the risk of sle uh, so yeah and then the next one is the that was early complement deficiency right now is the terminal complement deficiency so first one is the early one the other one is the terminal one so this increases susceptibility to recurrent niche area uh, infections okay and complement regulatory protein deficiencies in this also there are mainly two examples the first one is c1 esterase inhibitor deficiency which causes hereditary angioedema due to unregulated activation of calicrine which uh, increases bradykinin uh, that is i mean characteristic decrease in the c4 levels okay the next one is paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria it is a defect in the uh, piga gene piga gene prevents the formation of uh, gpi which anchors for the complement inhibitors such as uh, dk accelerating factors and membrane inhibitors reactive lysis an uh, in inhibitor of reactive lysis and this causes complement mediated intravascular hemolysis what does it mean these complements these proteins are there right they go and cause hemolysis uh, in the intravascular inside the blood vessel thereby this decreases the haptoglobin level and dark urine is observed uh this can cause atypical venous uh, venous thrombosis because hemolysis occurs and uh, atypical venous thrombosis can occur so yeah this is the complement system and the associated disorders
so i hope this uh, uh, lecture was really useful for you and i hope you liked it and yeah make sure to you know click the like button and click the subscribe button and make sure to click that bell icon also because i'll be posting regular videos and uh, it'll be informative for you so yeah thanks and uh, yeah of course uh, share it with your friends uh, let them know and uh, share this uh, beautiful knowledge so yeah thank you and uh, be awesome